Hi, guys. I hope you're in the mood for a cake today. Oh, yes, yeah, Susie, I'm ready. Tell me what you need. Some flour for starters? Actually, we won't be baking today at all. Huh? Would you try and guess what I have here? Let me see. I think it is... Shiver me jitters! Is it jelly powder? <laughs> it is! We're going to make an all-jello tasty cake inspired by your new bee hobby. But first things first, we need to properly dissolve our jelly powder in hot water. Holy cannoli! My mouth is already watering! Be patient, Sammy, and you guys get ready to work out your wrist. Stir, stir. Working with jello can be kind of tricky, but the result is totally worth your efforts. Right! Remember our aquarium jelly cake with fish and pebbles made of jello? It was so fun! All right, guys, our mixture is ready. Don't forget to add some sugar to it, or your cake won't be sweet. Now let's divide it into smaller portions so that it would be more comfortable to color it. Oh, <laughs> that's my favorite moment! <laughs> I said that we should color our jello! <gasps> Oopsie! Sorry, Sue! I got distracted a bit. There you go! Thank you! Sammy, I thought you were going to study bees closely while we're cooking. And I've already started! Wanna know some fun facts? Sure! Bring it on! Let me just change my outfit. <laughs> Let's get started! The science that studies honeybees is called apiology. And people have been breeding these fantastic creatures for thousands of years! Bees have five tiny eyes, yet somehow they can't distinguish the red color. They also have an ear for music and buzz differently depending on their mood. Hey, Sue, guess what I'm saying? Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> Are you trying to find out what is going to be next? Bingo! I mean, buzzingo! <laughs> well, we are gonna need this. Let's pour our colorful jello inside a syringe like this. As you might have guessed, we'll use different syringes for each color, guys. Here we go. Uh-oh, I see where this is going. Hide, everyone! Whoa! <laughs> Calm down, Sammy. We're simply gonna use our syringes to make cute little jello bees with the help of this mold. Holy cannoli! Those mold producers can make anything from silicone, huh? Let's start with the white jello to define the little wings first. Don't rush at this stage, guys. Work neatly. Next comes black color. Just don't forget that black bee stripes should alternate with the yellow ones. Uh-huh. And the bee's head should also be black. Okay. When the first batch of jello sets a bit, we'll use some yellow to fill our bee up to the top. Like this. It's not hard at all. Guys, I'm not allowed to work with sharp objects. So why don't we watch together how Susie does that? Now I'm gonna leave this in the fridge until the jello becomes firm enough. I'll be right back. Oh, a hot tub! <laughs> Nothing can be better than relaxing in hot water. <gasps> Where are you heading to, mister? Oopsie! We need this to make more jello. But Sue, the bees are chilling in the fridge. Can't we also take a break? Huh, I thought you'd rather have a cake. <laughs> Whoosh! Guys, this jello mixture is already familiar to you. We are going to make a few honeycombs now, so this time let's color it orange. In order to get a rich orange color, you may dissolve your jello powder and carrot juice! Oh, guys, look! Sammy O. Slimeone is here! Well, of course! Who else would teach you to cut your jello nicely? Everybody knows that honeycombs have a shape of a hexagon. Do you mean like this? Shiver me jaggers! I didn't know that we had such I a I believe mold. your alter ego missed this one. <laughs> I'd better go check those jello bees in the fridge. In the meantime, guys, let's fill our honeycombs up. Here we go. As always, try to work neatly. Oop. Now we'll get some more jello into the syringe. Wow, that looks so fun! Am I right, guys? Can I also try doing that, Susie? You didn't have to ask! Ha-ha! Alrighty! And push! Oh, ha-ha! Me like it! Actually, I can do that faster! Voila! Well done, Sammy! Now could you please be so kind to take all this beauty to the fridge? 
And I'm dying to see how our little jello bees turned out! Okay, let's see. We'll do this and… Guys, would you just look at these little cuties! They are adorable! Let me see, let me see! Whoa, guys, did you see that? Now we have a lot of bees here! I didn't know that thing was magical! Ha <laughs> ha, thank you! Well, Sammy, you'd better keep an eye on it, or we'll have jello bees everywhere! <laughs> Mmm, those look so delicious! If I could only try! Ta -da, ta -da. Ah! Oh, come on, Sammy! Can't you wait just a little bit? We're at the finishing line already! Although I must admit, these tiny hexagons do look like real tasty honeycombs. Oh. Mmm, would you just look at all this? Hurry up, Sue! While we are still able to keep ourselves together! You're right! Let's get it done! Guys, this is pretty simple. We are going to place these pieces onto the bottom of a baking pan trying to leave equal space between them. You should get something like this. Hmm, there is a big space left here. What will we do about that? We can always make some adjustments. Huck. There you go. You see? Problem solved. Excellent! Now guys, this is gonna be hot in here! <laughs> we need to pour a huge portion of hot jello mixture all the way through the baking pan. Be very careful at this stage or better ask an adult to help you. That is quite an amount of jello we are using today! You don't say, Sammy! Guys, give us a thumbs up if you like jello as much as we do! Alright, all we've left to do now is wait a few hours until this cools down and sets. <laughs> or we could use some video editing magic! Whoosh! Let's see. Yup, perfect! For this, you should defo ask an adult to help you guys. Here we go. Huh? And basically our cake is ready! Holy cannoli! It's perfect! Oh, I'm in heaven! Let's not forget about the beehive's dwellers! There you go, little one! Oh, you want to be on our cake, too? <laughs> Come on, guys, get in line! Guys, let's give Susie a few seconds to play and then we'll check out our cake! Guys, today we're gonna make an unusual poppet cake! A cake and a poppet are the best things in the world, so why don't we mix them together? Oh, thanks for the spoon, Sammy! First, we need to mix all the dry ingredients in a bowl. Like this. Guys, give us a thumbs up if you like baking like we do! And feel free to ask an adult to join you! It's always fun cooking together! But I prefer eating alone! All the more for me! <laughs> Sue, is this a bowl for wet ingredients? Am I right? Ah! You scared me! It looked like the eggs were gonna fall right on my head! This is what you get for not sharing with your best friend, who always helps you with cooking! Oh, Sue, come on! I'm ready to give you anything! Even this sugar! What a coincidence! It looks exactly like the one I've prepared for this craft! Sammy, could you be so kind to put a pot with water on a cooker? Now we'll add some salt. Be careful not to add too much. Here's the water! But I don't remember us doing this in the previous cooking episodes. It's called a bain marie. We'll put the mixture on the pot with boiling water and start mixing it very well. But don't let it boil, guys. We just need to heat it up a bit until sugar is completely dissolved. Good macarons! Oh, hot! 
Tammy, are you okay? Guys, I strongly recommend to ask an adult to help you on this stage. The steam can be very hot. Well, our mixture is warm enough. We can move on to the mixer! Oh, I'm so happy you're all right, Sammy. But let me do this, okay? And that's it! Now we are going to add the dry mixture here, but only half of it. So how about a fast taste test? Don't rush, Mr. I want all at once, but this I will take. Guys, try to mix the batter very slow, from the bottom to the top, so it will be airy and fluffy. You told me you'll show good culinary magic, and still nothing! Okay, you're gonna be surprised! Secretius ingredius superius! Whoa! It worked! Actually, it looks like batter. And smells like it too! Only buttery. So it seems your magic trick didn't work! Nope, it did! This is the secret ingredient that will make our batter consistency pretty cool. We just added some melted butter and a bit of vanilla extract to the second part of our batter. Now, Sammy, could you please heat up the oven to 175 degrees Celsius? But be careful! Sure thing! This is the classic recipe for a chocolate cake. They say the classics are always the best, because there's nothing redundant here. So, holy cannoli! No time to chat! The oven is ready! I guess he's in such a hurry because he wants to taste the cake as soon as possible. <laughs> of course I do! Who would say no to a cake? Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree! Let's see how many of us there are! In the meantime, I'll go put this into the oven for 50 minutes. But don't you go anywhere and you'll see the final result! Trust me, you'll be surprised! La 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 la… Sugar me, Jenners, what have you done? You ruined the cake and we've tried so hard! Ah! Where is the template I asked you to prepare? Here it is! Sue, are you not listening? I promised our viewers they would be surprised! Um, what are you doing? We're gonna make a beautiful butterfly by cutting all excess. Guys, don't forget about safety! Huh? Or you'd better ask an adult to help. Interesting. Does it mean you don't need this anymore? I know what you want to ask, Sammy. Yes, you can eat it. And the crust, too. I cut it so the cake would be much moister. Hooray! And while he's distracted, let's make the frosting. Sam likes it very much, so there is a chance he'll eat everything up. But our cake can't do without it, so let's speed up. And it came out great! Since we're making a rainbow cake, we just need to… Great! Sue, don't take it personal. But I thought the colors would be brighter. Yeah, I know. But if you ask me, these shades will look awesome too. See for yourself! You're right! It looks good! I just remembered we've already made a unicorn rainbow cake and it was very bright! Ooh, I remember it too! It was so pretty! We prepared so many cakes, guys! It's hard to list them all! Try an imposter cake, a gigantic Oreo cake, an MM's cake, a jelly pond cake, and. and. Ugh, I can't! There are too many of them! Guys, have you watched those videos? Well, you know where to find them! Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new recipes! I think my favorite one is a slick slime Sam cake! It looked exactly like you, Sammy! <laughs> <laughs> and this one is my favorite! Will you bake the same one for my birthday? <laughs> but you haven't tried it yet! A chocolate biscuit and creamy frosting? What could be better? I agree, Sammy. By the way, we're done! Now the great Timidala I'm ready to eat! Here is my food! Oh no, Sammy, wait a second! It's not the time! Ah! We're getting to the finish line, guys! Stay tuned! This one goes here. Yeah, right? Um, okay! Uh-huh, I see. Right. Sammy, what are you doing? You don't let me work on the cake! I had to check everything, so the examination showed that the cake is awesome, but it still has nothing to do with the puppet! Don't jump to conclusions, Mr. Smarty Pants! Tell me, what colors do our cake rainbow have? Ha! It's easy to! Purple, blue, green, yellow, and pink like me! Awesome! Now everything's ready for making a perfect puppet! 
Somebody said a perfect poppet. Ooh, all over again. This lecture is about a perfect poppet. Here we go. By the mozzarella, I know something about perfect poppets. I have a PhD in this field. The first and one of the most important things is a shape. Plain round or square ones are boring. I'm all for unusual poppet shapes. He can speak like this for hours. Trust me, guys. The second thing is bubbles. They should be nice to pop. I'm just working on the whole construction. And last but not least, the colors. It's just a matter of taste, of course, but the brighter, the merrier. If I remember clearly, you didn't like these colors. Not at all. I just wanted to remind the guys of the unicorn cake so they could watch the video one more time. Okay, okay, now I see. Now we can start assembling our cake. Sue, everybody knows I'm a master of decorations, but I haven't shown off my skills for ages. Go ahead, Sammy. I believe in you. Yay! Whoosh! Wow, such an awesome cake we have, guys. But there is still one thing missing. And what could it possibly be? The edges. Shiver me, Cheddar's, how could I? But it's easy to fix. No, 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 Sammy. You've already done a great job. Let me take care of this. I'm so lucky to have such a great helper like Sammy. Frankly speaking, I've never seen a cake like this in my whole life. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I'm so excited to see the result. Hop. I'm glad it's the final touch. I have to say, Sue, now I'm gonna call you a master of cake making. It's just amazing. <laughs> Sammy, I'm really impressed. Thank you. Now let's take another look at our gorgeous cake in all its glory. Hi guys, as you might have already guessed, today we are going to make cotton candy. How come I didn't think of that type of cotton in the first place? We should have used that cotton candy maker a long time ago, Sue. Well, it's not me who always eats up all the sugar in our house. True, I like my fiber crop tea with eight spoonfuls at least. <laughs> so, am I getting eight portions of cotton candy? Better, you're gonna get a multi-layered cotton candy cake. Good macaroons! like a dream come true. Uh, Sue, uh, what are you doing? Well, do you want your cake to be colorful? Sure! And one way to do that is to color the sugar. Oops. Mmm, sounds tasty. I'm ready, Sue. <laughs> Sammy, you're too ready. Don't add too much of the food coloring right away, guys. Are you sure that just a few drops are enough, Sue? Don't worry, Sammy. We can make it brighter later if needed. And now comes a really fun part. We're gonna just rub the plastic bag against the table. Or you can just rub it between your hands, this way, very thoroughly. Shiver me cheddars, it really is green now, people. Now that we're done with the first color, let's make some more. I'm on it, Susie. Hey, where are the plastic bags? I must spill nothing. There we go. Do you want to try that coloring technique, Sammy? Are you kidding? I can't wait to do that. <laughs> All right. On your mark, get set, go. Guys, would you just look at this? The colors are amazing. My yellow sugar turned out better than your purple, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Then what would you say about these? What? When did you... How come... Oh, whoa. Oh, I guess my head's spinning because of that colorful sweetness. Guys, check this out. You can use your colored sugar in more than one way. <laughs> it can become a cool decorative element as well. 
but you remember why we needed it in the first place, right? So stay tuned, guys! Let's get to the cotton candy making! Woohoo! Easy, Tiger. Huh? You have to be careful with an appliance like this. You see this funny thing in the middle? It's the heating element. Once we put sugar over here and turn it on... It's gonna start melting sugar at about 190 degrees Celsius! Woo! That's hot! That's right! So, you guys should be extremely careful or ask your parents to help. Here we go! Hey, it's coming up, Sue! Chill out, Sammy. I can see everything. This way. Just look at all those fluffy sugar threads! Stop getting distracted, Susan! Just roll it up! Ta-da! Well, Sammy, what do you say about our very first homemade cotton candy? It looks like a sweet and fluffy cloud! Oh, I have to taste it! Um, um. What's there to taste? <laughs> Sammy, stop that! You could give me some! Ouch! This is the best day of my life! So beautiful! Oh! A unicorn! Wait! Unicorns eat cotton candy? No! 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 Tammy, are you okay? Uh, yeah, totally! But don't tell Sue about that! Let's proceed with the next color! Here we go! And... Start! Huh, I haven't heard from Sammy for a while now. I wonder what he's doing. I'm here, Susie. Did you know that the very first cotton candy appeared back in the 15th century in Italia? The Venetians mastered that craftsmanship and made the 1,286 items from cotton candy for one fancy royal party. But sugar was too expensive back then, and cotton candy was available only to rich people. Susan, what's taking you so long with that yellow? Uh, nothing. Please, tell me more about cotton candy. Not until 1897 did a dentist and a confectioner create a miraculous cotton candy machine. Here is the yellow one. Susan, at this rate, we will never taste a cotton candy cake. Oh, maybe we will. Ah, <sighs> You're right. Let me speed up with the rest of the colors then. Here we go. Check this out, guys. Now we have everything to shape our cake. Wait a second, Susie. We might need to make the green again. Uh, I couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, Sammy. <laughs> Guys, we'll be right back. Oop, oop. Susie, I brought what you asked for. Thank you, Sammy. Guys, now we're going to work quite fast, so watch closely. To make the first layer of our cake, we'll take the blue cotton candy and slide it right into this silicone mold, like this. Wow! Next, we'll take another cotton candy and repeat the same procedure. Here we go! We need to do this with all the colors of cotton candy that we've made today. Guys, work in gloves so that cotton candy doesn't melt from the heat of your hands. And remember that you can use as many cotton candy layers as you want. The more layers there are, the sweeter your cake will be! Isn't that what we're going for? <laughs> Okay, we're almost done here. You're about to see some real confectionery magic, people. Are you ready? Let's do this. Shiver me cheddars! That was totally awesome, Susie! Ha! <laughs> Wait till you hear that there is more. Guys, try not to squeeze your cotton candy too tightly so that you can still take it out of the mold. Check out this rainbow beauty. Beauty, it looks so delicious. When will I taste it? As soon as we decorate it. <gasps> Actually, I have an idea. We will decorate each piece of our cake individually. Guys, always be careful with the knife. Or, better yet, ask an adult to help you at this stage. Actually, you can ask your parents to join you for the decoration part as well. Check out what I've got here, Susie. Cool. 
But this is not enough. Sue, what did you do with my decor? Now that's more like it. Just look at all this beauty, Sammy. Awesome, right? Shiver me sprinkles, so many cool things. This piece will decorate with marshmallows. And let this one be chocolatey. Here we go. I want to make one look really magical. Now anyone who eats it can make a wish upon a star. <laughs> oh, this looks like a whole party on a single cake. <laughs> Willy Wonka style. Why are you chilling out here? Move! And last but not least, funny bubbles. Boop, boop, boop. Well, Sammy, are you happy with your cake? Not quite yet. I think we can totally get wild. <laughs> Sammy, that's a perfect idea. But we had better do this really fast. Mmm, vanilla, my favorite. Let's take a glance at our cake before the ice cream melts. Or before I eat everything. 